and these are just my tips that I would give to you guys for how I've decorated and how I've decorated over the years and just very meaningful and you guys know like ever since I've been on YouTube this has been like my holy zen area especially now being a mom oh are you excited boo yeah you're excited <laughs> channel happy fashion friday i am here with little miss so she's got her frappuccino and mama has her frappuccino strawberry aside it's so good <laughs> So in today's video, it's a little different. I thought I would do an ultimate guide. I've actually never done one of these before. And I just get so many questions on my beauty room, my space, how I've designed it, um, my inspiration behind it. So that is what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. And I put together some of my favorite um, things that I've done over the years on how I've decorated and how I would... Um, recommend if you guys want a beauty space that kind of looks like mine i have a sort of style as you guys know it's probably a little obvious that i love pink um but i put together some amazing tips that i hope you guys enjoy in today's video if you want to see more videos like this where i kind of incorporate a little bit of decor into fashion fridays let me know but of course this has a lot to do with fashion friday and the whole theme um you know of everything that's in my closet space and beauty room so that is what we're gonna be doing today <laughs> Um, yeah, can we just talk about how cute you are? Please? You're way too cute, boo. <laughs> Soso is very independent now, you guys. She can sit up on her own, so she's back there playing. And cutest backdrop ever, right? Right here. Right there. Right there. Um, I swear she's gonna stand soon. We are getting close because she keeps trying to stand up. Anyways, I've got my Starbucks with me. I also got my phone with me because I just took five of my top tips that I could give you guys for today's video and I think they're really great tips that you guys are going to like and this is pretty much what I've done for the last few years now when designing um, my closet space, beauty room space, somewhere that keeps me inspired, motivated and honestly you guys this room is like my holy grail room. This is where I can feel like myself. Um, I love playing with the girls in here too. And we do our photo shoots in here, so it just, it's very meaningful. And you guys know, like, ever since I've been on YouTube, this has been, like, my holy zen area, especially now being a mom. Um, so I get to film in here. I get to be inspired and... Um, yeah, that's really important to me. So anyways, my first tip that I could give to you guys is obviously color scheme. Um, so I, my color scheme would obviously be pink, white, and neutral. So I like to stay with the light tones. Um, I think it's really important because if you have like a mesh of colors going on and there's just too much, it just looks cluttered and it can look really out of place. So I think even like an Instagram page or um someone's youtube channel i think everyone needs to have some sort of theme that they want to go by and that's also i think something that can kind of make decorating a little bit easier for you if you have a theme to go off of that's where you can start um so of course my theme has always been pink and white so a lot of the colors i like to i kind of like to mesh it up on every single row so i've done like white and pink i've done some neutrals and i've kind of just mixed it up a lot um so yeah that is my color scheme and that is my first tip i could give to you guys my next tip i could give to you guys my second tip and probably the most important is a little bit of everything so a little mesh of everything and that is what something i've wanted to do for so long that's why i actually so before when we had these beauty room shelving units uh from ikea which i'll leave them linked down below i get asked questions all the time where these are from so it's the ikea pack system and i wanted to have a closet space so badly and have clothes because clothes in fashion is just such a big part of, of my interests so for me i definitely love having shoes handbags makeup um my makeup brushes photos jewelry a little bit of everything i think is really important because that's your entire space that's your closet that's something that you know you should always have inspiring you so i like to do a little bit of everything i hope she's not too distracting in the back for you guys <laughs> so so you're way too cute i see mama sees you 
I see you. And for me, I've even bought things too that I don't necessarily wear. I think I've already told you guys that. Like my shoes, my Lubus behind me, they're more meant for decor. Hi, Boo Boo. Um, she's just crawling over to say hi. And they're kind of more meant for decor. And sometimes I'll do that if I really like something and I think it'll be well suited for my beauty space and go with my color scheme and add a little touch of something, then I'll do that. I also invested in the Venus at Floor. So you guys know the flower bouquet. You are so silly. Yeah. Mommy doesn't even need to be on YouTube. You just can take over my channel. Yep. Oh, who is that pretty girl? Um, but yeah, the next thing I would say would definitely be flowers. I love having something that just reminds me of nature in my room and these flowers smell so good, you guys. It will make your entire space smell heavenly um, and they last a really long time. They're dried flowers and they're expensive, but I think they're well worth it. I got that large one actually for their photo shoot, but I did pick up this little one that comes in this acrylic case. So I think this makes for beautiful decor, but it also adds a little touch of something special in my, my space. And like I said, I am a big person on just having flowers, but I mean, with less work, of course. Um, you know, flowers tend to die quickly, so to have them in my beauty space would be a lot of work. Um, I have bought, like, fake ones from, like, HomeSense and stuff, but I find that these ones are just, they smell so good. Um, so I really love them, and it's just something so unique and different. So I'll leave a link down below on those ones for you, but, um, yeah, that was my next, um, my next tip that I would give to you guys. Okay, what was my next one? Okay, so I have it on my phone here. Um, I took notes so I could remember what I was, um, what tips I would give you guys. So the next one would be layers and stacking. I have always done this with my beauty space. And even if you look on shelving units, like on um, Pinterest and things like that, it always has a lot of layers. And I think that just overall, like looking from afar, it always makes it look a little bit more put together. Um, so I've always done that. I love using books. I think that's a great way to stack um you know different heights different levels and i have uh like chanel books that i've gotten vogue and stuff like that i really love the high-end ones you guys know that right boo Right. Um, you guys know the fancy books that I have, the Louis Vuitton, Chanel, and Gucci. I am staring right at them right now. I just have them on my little ottoman, and these I actually got from Etsy from a shop. Um, I forget the name of it, but I'll leave a link down below on the exact ones that I got. I think that's a really great way on um, just stacking, and like I said, it makes for really, really nice decor. The other books that I've gotten, though, Chanel and Vogue, those you can get from, like, Indigo. You can also get them, like, off Amazon, and they're also really great prices, and I love stacking, like, makeup and you guys have seen me stack like my handbags and everything like that on the books. So. Okay, so Ryan actually just came up and got Sophia. He's about to feed the girls so I can finish this video for you guys. And sorry about that. I just sometimes obviously motherhood is very busy and um, I can't always film without the girls because sometimes they just want to be in my videos. But honestly, I love when I go back and I like see them in my videos, I get so excited. I actually love books being in my beauty space so much and especially the designer ones. I really love those a lot. And uh, right now I, on both my sides, I actually have my acrylic with my makeup and then on the other side I have flowers. Um, so I just like to switch those up. I like the shelving units to be a little bit different, but also be similar. So that is why I did books on both sides. Um, and I usually like to decorate in the same sort of way all throughout my shelving units so that's also a nice little tip and i think for everything to look this is my next tip but re really organized as possible and for me i've always and i i have some comments sometimes where people think that i have too many things you know going on in my vanity too many things on the top too many things on my shelving units and that is totally okay i personally love having a lot of things as decor and I know um, over the years I've gotten better at making it look more clean and organized so I think I've done a really good job right now compared to like what I had before over the years which I loved having so many things I think it really just made it look very busy and I don't like for it to look busy I just like for it to look clean and organized but I do have a lot of stuff on the shelves this is true um, but I do really like the way that it looks right now I think it looks great and um, as long as I mean everything is organized and what I like to do too I like to put a lot of things in the back of my shelves and that, and then also in the front so you can kind of see what's going on in the back a little bit but obviously the things in the front stand out a little bit more and this is random but one thing I've always done too I've bought in like really nice perfume sets and I've tend to, to like keep the boxes and use those as decor also like sunglass cases uh, jewelry box cases and things 
things like that that I can actually reuse and put things in but I also use them for decor um, just to fill spaces because like obviously this was a lot of shelf to fill um, so those are also options what next tip I would give is be realistic as possible you guys and something that I never did before was that and I think I spent a lot of my time having my beauty space be too too much of like my business and you guys know like before i used to have like all of my makeup brushes brush books everything just scattered on my shelving units and um not, not that there was anything wrong with that and i i love my brushes of course but i have them more on my makeup vanity and i actually have them um you know in pretty makeup brush holders now not just like everywhere and i think for me like i just wanted to be very inspired by my own space so that is why i you know i added a clothing uh rack and my purses my handbags things that i truly love and i think that's really important especially when i'm filming in here um in this goes for like your office area too like if you know if you have really nice decor that you truly love and things that you love in your in your space you're gonna enjoy being there way more um so that is also another tip that i have and that is something i actually wanted to redo my closet space in our master bedroom so let me know if you want to see a video of that like the full transformation because i want to change everything in there like the lighting um and then also just like the shelving units i was thinking of putting something like this in there like shelves that i could use so let me know if you want to see that Ugh. and i did want to mention my new accessory my first ever accessory that i'm launching which i think one person had guessed it when i asked you guys on my insta stories nobody knew but i kind of like that i kind of like that nobody knows uh it's almost finished though and i'm getting so excited i cannot wait it would have been perfect to kind of talk about in today's video that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> okay, so this is kind of making it six, but that's okay. This is one that I cannot forget and I would say memories So um, I have always been big on photos. I think you guys know that by now I probably have 20,000 photos in my phone saved um, But for me, I definitely wanted to have some pictures of me and Sophia of my wedding day things that are important to me um, So that is always something you will see in my closet space my beauty space my office every Everywhere uh, that I am designing so that is also another thing that I think you guys will really like and I'm sure a lot of people do that it's very common um but you just get like a nice pretty frame get you know your prettiest photo that you love um that can reflect into something that you truly value and uh that keeps you inspired so yeah hey guys so that was all of the tips i have for just creating a really nice beauty space for yourself or a closet space and i hope you can kind of take those tips into anything really that you're decorating in your house um and that's kind of just what has worked for me and of course everyone has such different styles and tastes and what they're into so i just thought i would give some of my ideas and things that i could possibly help you guys out with when uh decorating and designing so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's Fashion Friday video, and of course, we will see you guys on Makeup Monday.